Very small, very low west at 250 speed. Dude, it's driving as fast as like a car. Some terrible patroller maybe, or very confused scout wondering where his escort is. <laughs> I don't know. Scanner Asia. Two new people. Throw them into training. Terrific. Medium grounded. None over there again. All right, Mammoth. Once more. Very small low east. Quick in and out. Thunder. Have a laser rifle. And Twilight Duck. Laser pistol. Uh, you were okay with the laser rifle. Pistol. Yeah. yeah, and I'm okay with Rogue having explosive, and I'm okay with Leva having explosive. But, I would like... some people with melee, and I don't really care... This is two-handed, right? No. Two-handed true. Nothing about it. All right, perfect. Hey, look, a reason to keep laser pistols. I thought these were also two-handed. So I don't care what your melee accuracy is. There you go. Enjoy. And we have started up in a corner. Very good. I'm assuming this is another abductor. But who's really doing the abducting? It is them. It's not me. I can't stun people. Are you kidding me? I've tried. You've seen me try. You were there. Boy, would I like to, though. Don't get me wrong. Extend our smoke a bit next turn. That'll work. You know, the aliens don't... Th I'm gonna jinx it. The aliens don't throw grenades very much in this, I'm noticing. Maybe that's my... TFTD history coming into play because they, they they did not mind throwing sonic pulsers on a fairly regular basis and thus they don't seem to as much unless there's like a throws grenades all the time true sort of boolean somewhere in there and it's just toggled to be not true or something I don't know Back in my day. Who dat? It's a floater with a stun. Looking right at you, too. Snapshot 51. It's 57%. Yeah. Oh, that was looking close. Good try. Leva. With a snapshot, just kind of hit fire this thing, no problem. 29%. Somewhere, someday, you're going to have a bad time. How about Rogue with a little hip fire? 33%. Knock, knock. <laughs> XCOM would like to talk to you about some craft insurance. Ooh, it's them again. Out of doors. Uh, yeah. Okay. Leva, aim shot at the wall. Uh, quick shot at the wall. Did you break their ship? 
Rogue aimed shot at the wall. <sighs> Exile, kneeling aim shot. They're standing there, trust me. Thank you. <laughs> You're very, very accurate, by the way. 73% firing accuracy. That's quite good for a squatty. Try hard. Hmm, what? I didn't say anything. Ugh. Get some more help down here. Because I'd like to round the sandbags, hit this wall, and then skirt around that to explore this side of the map. Make sure the outside's clear. We'll send it to the breaching team of the proper armored folks, I suppose. Wasn't intending to do that, but you know, it works out. Just mind the stun bomb guy. Looks like he's flicking you off right now with his right hand. Cora, shoot this guy in the face. Nice. You totally did too. Twice. Good stuff. That's what you get. How dare you make a rude gesture toward XCOM? Shoot that finger off. I think I keep. You guys outside. Obviously. Ezra die with the stun rod. Okay. And then a bunch of rifles for killing. And then let's get... Butters over there to help support with the stun rod. So we get two stuns and then Jason... Help mine this kind of wheat field area. Ecliptic, guard the ammo. Goodbye, get ready to fly us out of here. <laughs> I hope you know how to fly this thing. I'm sure it's simple. Just pull back in the joystick thing. I've seen them do it in movies. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you blasted a hole in the side of the ship. I'd be quite interested to see if you could do it here again, but if this is a side closet like before, because this seems to be the same ship. Um, that'll be very explosive. But not really what I want. Over here wouldn't be too bad, though. But I don't know if you can have... This angle... I don't know if I can break a hole in that. I don't... I don't know if there's a tile for that. If you know what I mean. If you know, you know. I'm... I'm not sure. It's awkward with diagonals sometimes. Good work, though. We'll take the long way around. Uh. Ove ready to get in there as well. And I think I'd like to have another smoke. Actually. Yeah. Just to help out the front door, folks. Alright. Little bit of shortcut. Jason watching down there, though I don't think you'll be able to see anything, so hang out up by the wheel wells. You can do a little bit of pistol sniping that way. And I guess Ecliptix is off the field, leaving goodbye alone on the ship. That's okay. That's fine. With that smoke there, I don't think Jason can see anything regardless, though. He's bleeding out. Okay, yeah, didn't break it. There's just the the alcove there. All right, that makes me feel a bit better. 
I didn't think I could breach the outer hull with... Honestly, any explosive. Apparently the demolition charges might be able to, but the demolition charges are like... 150 some explosive damage, whereas these are... Only 90 and... Uh, sometimes there's also a terrain effectiveness modifier on there too. Doesn't seem to have it though. Uh, demolition charge. Nah, seems seems whatever. Okay. Just 140 high explosive damage though is just. It is a bunch. Oh yeah, leave us a uh, errant rocket. Yeah. I'm nervous about that building down there. But I haven't heard any wooden doors lately. Ooh. Just ship doors. I'll look at you with a stun launch too. <laughs> Getting them stunned, it's butters. That's you. Well done. Two in one go, and they're not overstunned and not dead because we didn't just jam it sideways through their eye sockets to kill them with it. Jeez. There is super stun lands. Probably a really, really, really great melee weapon for, like, hurting a muton. I, I, I don't think we're actually... We, I don't think we're using that to stun things. Hey, that door's open down there. Why is that open? Might have our answer. He shot me, so he shouldn't have time minutes for a uh, reaction shot. So laser is okay. All right, <laughs> if you say so. Who'd we get? A soldier? A medic. All right. Oh, goodness. Who do you think has more reactions? Bad news. Sorry, Ove. It had to be done! Okay. You'll be fine. Although, if he does open the door, turn and stun launch you, you might do a little bit of overstun, so... I think I want to be kind of ready with a med kit. Oh. Oh. Well done. Who dat? A soldier. Okay. We can only have five aliens, so... We'll have to... Kill off. Yeah, I'll grab his body. 
next. Well, no, Exile can do it. Get over there! It's hucking the body across. <laughs> I mean, keep an eye on that guy. He is the... That's the medic, actually. I, I kind of care about the medic a little bit. I'll throw it in the pile. Stand in the doorway so we can't go anywhere. A little bit of reaction fire to kill them. So it's whatever. I've already got a medic that I haven't researched yet, so... Hmm. Yeah, just ship doors and stuff again. Get back down. There we go. Um, stimulants. Ove, is it clear? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't get up through the door. All right. Well, there's your gun, Ove. Whenever, whenever you're back. Seems good. Armed and ready. And I guess Ezra die. Watch them. See what they do. We're gonna move out and Butters will help with the stunning. That'd be such a great stun bomb opportunity if they open the door in mutual surprise and just blammo. All oh, right, side armor was better than back armor, wasn't it? I think we're clear over here. We've been standing around for a couple turns now and nothing's happened, so... I was sort of poised and ready for some reaction fire. Their turns are over fairly quickly, so I think it's just the... Uh, this is a different ship, though. This is a different ship. Medium scout, maybe? No elevator on this side. Stay down! <sighs> hey, butters. Got another one for you. There we go. Navigator! I'll take a navigator. Do not mind. Once upon a time in Terror from the Deep, a long, long time ago, very early version of it, you needed to have a Lobster Man Navigator in order to actually beat the game. Great fun, that. Great, great fun. Really, really good. <laughs> So who was who? Who didn't I care about? You're a medic, which means you're a soldier. I don't have... a soldier yet, but I'll only need the one. Kill you now. Ruin their morale a little bit. If we can get them panicking and stuff, that just makes the takedown so much easier. And then exile. Bring our navigator friend. Ooh, it's a heavy boy. Bring it on over. Not enough time units. Alright. 
set it down. Thanks. You want to, like, watch the door with me, actually? In case they try to wake up and scurry away like a cockroach in light. Oh, hey. Ow. Shit. Butters! Man, he did not move very far then. Alright. Well, you would have been dead next turn anyway, I think. My only hope was that I could step you to the side and get somebody over there to shoot around you afterwards. Uh, you didn't have enough time to get anyway. Yeah, and, uh, bad, bad melee luck. It's tank it, stick your chest out. Fucking grrr. Revenge! 90%. What the heck? What's this dude made of? Just the one shot stuns him. Floater leader. Put you down here. Pull that out. Can't heal ya. Stun bomb. There it is. But no overstun for us here. Okay. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm needed. Yeah. Stun in air, buddy. Ought to stun yourself if you're not careful, though? Question mark? Maybe? I guess not. <laughs> He's getting like just the just the most perfect angles. This guy, what a champion! A true leader. This one. That's it. We're bringing, we're bringing some rifles over. Stay down. Poor Ezra die on crowd control over here with the stun rod. <laughs> the password is orangutan. That's how I know you can come in. Mission is going great. Thankfully, it's just stun bombs, so like it's kind of whatever, and nobody seems to be getting overstunned, so that's a definite plus. Quartz is back. Son of a bitch, what happened? Where is he? Orangutan. Oh, dude. Immersive, I know. Orangutan. Oh, God. A busy day today, isn't it? It sure is. Neo flying a dead Naruto run sprint to try to make it in. Oh! Blocks Ezra die from being able to take their spot back. Oh, jeez. Alright, go on through. You're good. There he is. No one there. Yeah, well, there's about to be. Shame about butters, though. That does suck. I feel bad about that. But butters, fear not. There will be a clone for you. I don't know what this guy is, but I want him live. Yeah. <sighs>
Got him. Six kills, seven corpses, and one butters down. But we got five live aliens. That was... Okay, that was an abductor, just a different uh, layout of it. All right. Cool, cool. 685 points. Tons of stats for... Oh, she's just everybody. And yeah, loot. A leader, a medic, a sectoid medic, navigator, and soldier. I'll get rid of the soldier. Yeah. And I... No, okay. There is a little... Okay. The floater medic was spare. Cool, cool. Uh... Kill or sell? Sell it, it's fine. And yeah, alien explosive ammo. And poor butters. Womp. Only three kills, but... So many stuns. That very small is... Not wanting to fight. Okay, well, hey. Uh, EU3, you've got some aliens to study. Navigator, medic, leader... seems to be it. How is that it? Navigator, medic, leader, the other medic. Psionic sectoid corpse armor. Goes. Alright, yeah, that seems to be it though. Okay. Um, pause on the stun bomb. Let's go for floater leader. Actually, let's mix it up a little bit. See how it goes, because I don't think interviews take very long. Could be wrong. Very small, low west. I think that might be... Okay, I think one of these might be that very small from before. I don't know what's going on over here. They're, they're doing stuff, I think. I don't like that. Let's get a few more people on. Perfect. And sort the armor. Perfect. Equipment-wise, I think we're okay. Mammoth, go investigate. If they decide to fight you back, you can probably bring them down. Okay, well, not if... Not if it's all that. Maybe just wait here a minute. Okay. Is there... Two? There's two there. Both very small is grounded. Okay. Okay, return to base, Mammoth. It's too hot. A very small on intercept course. But I think you can fight it down. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's out. <laughs> I'm not risking that. There is... There is a lot of something going on over there. Ooh. A landed large. Oh my god, there's something... Storm charger's complete! Okay. Storm charger. It's refueling still. What can I do for you, though? I guess you can have a torrent. Since... Our interest at base ain't using that. You can have a targeting computer, I suppose. Then the tier 2 engines, maybe? So there's the torrent and then an alloy cannon? I guess. Seventeen hours to rearm. Yeah, they're already done with all that. 
I'm gonna have to have someone head over there and scout. Storm Charger? What's what's happening? Anything? It's just like a just a ton of activity. Alright, where's the alloy eclipse for out east? So then the scorpion? What's the scorpion? Accurate, fast, 15 rounds, decent range, good damage. Advanced air to air missile incorporating alien tech in order to travel farther and faster, delivering larger payload. Scorpion seems like a pretty okay bet. That's uh, medium, I assume. Yeah. Got a scorpion on there. A scorpion in the alloy cannon. Alloy cannon because their attack craft is close in, as close and like up close as and personal as they can be. So I want something to handle that. And that's, that's just money. One day, I can manufacture it to sell again. Get like... 30, maybe? Take a little while to make. Alright, seems clear over there though. Whatever they were doing... We're done with it. And then equip... Instead of Torrent, Scorpion. I know, you don't have ammo for it yet. Give it time. I know, I know. I just said, I just said. Oh my god. Cyanic Sectoid Corpse Armored. No reports available, but okay. Um, Leader first, maybe. It'll be done soon. Sonic implantation is done. Uh, cyborgs, 50,000 salary. Just as the aliens do, so too can we implant Sonic devices into the brains of our soldiers to improve their overall talent for both performing Sonic attacks as well as resisting Sonic influence. Sonic implantation interface can be accessed from the soldiers screen if you click on soldier info and then select Sonic implementation. You will then need the capacity to perform surgery at the base, a service provided by the hospital, perhaps in addition to other facilities. Feedback device and three wave emitters. Okay. Soldiers, info, implantation. Good. Good, good, good. Since we're researching the leader and stuff, let's get Alien Origins going too. Um, soldiers, soldier info. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, we got 10 people in there. I need to pick up some more folks anyway. I could pick up maybe a couple Psy Adepts. How many people on my short? It's just the one. One Psy Adept then. Butters 2 is going to be a real smarty smart pants. And then sell because money. Pistols I think we're completely done with. Oh yeah, we got to send over some alloy clips and maybe even make more by the looks of it. 95 alien plasma pistols. Yeah, I'll sell 10 of those. <laughs> that's that's a lot. Machine gun alloy clip. Five. Cool. Do we need the... Um... No. Not a thing we make. Oh, I've completely forgotten already. Soldiers in armor. Cyborg. Soldiers, soldier info. Implantation. Yeah, nah. 
Like, I don't technically have a hospital, but I've got a, uh, the barracks, which has a built-in. So maybe, maybe I need a bit better than that. Maybe that's not enough. Infirmary. Doesn't say anything. Provides surgery service, though. Okay. So I need a proper hospital then, but the hospital's the big boy. So that would be... That would be getting rid of this hangar then. Which would be a little bit annoying, but it's it's done. It's, it's, it's out of here already. And then build facilities, a couple empty rooms down here, I guess, and then we just like shift it down and then that could be maybe a defenser or two. Man, oh man. A lot of, a lot of space being taken up here. A lot of space. All right. The alternative is I get a little hospital base that I send people over to for this implantation. Depends how long it takes. If it takes a notable amount of time, it will probably be worth doing that. Okay, how close are you to having enough? Like, come on. Surely by now, 14 out of 15. It's almost done. Ah, it's finished. <laughs> Good. And Scanner Asia's got their ammo. Scanner Asia should be getting their fancy radar done. Cape Town? Cape Town? All right, let's go to Cape Town. Are we ready for it? I think so. I think so, there's not a whole lot else I can do for it. Okay. Cape Town, terror number six. Let's also send the storm charger as escort. Because, again, it's out of our radar. Don't know what's down there. We used to have a base down here once upon a time. Remember that? <sighs> I do. I remember it. 